Hi, Linda Bowen here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. If you join me on Friday, you've seen how I took the Country um, Club Designer Series paper. It has one sh um, design that is black and white, and I just took it and added a personal touch with my blends. And I told you that I would be using that piece um, for my video. Um, it is so cool with this designer series paper that you can do golf cards, no um, stamp set, um, but just use the designer series paper. So I'm going to show you a creative fold with the designer series paper. This is another print. It's got the Knight of Navies and the greens, but then has the golf tees and balls on the other side. So this measures five and a half by 12. I'm gonna bring in my personal trimmer. Our new personal trimmer is available for purchase in my online store. Remembering a qualified order of $50 or more gets you a free um, celebration um, set or designer series paper through March. You'll want to head over to my blog, stampingwithlinda.com, and click on the link and so that you can go view what you can receive free with that qualifying order. Again, this is measuring five and a half by 12. We are going to take our scoring blade and we are going to score at one and three quarter, four and three quarter, and finally at seven and three quarter. This is called an accordion fold. It allows you to see both sides of that beautiful designer series paper. So now we're just going to fold it back and forth like so. I have a piece of Whisper White. This measures four inches by five and a quarter. We're just adding some snail. That will go into the inside of our card. All right, like so. Then what I have is a piece of that designer series paper. It is half inch by five and a quarter. And we are just going to add some snail and add it to the edge of our Whisper White. So showing off those golf balls that are on the front of our paper. Next, what I'm going to do is bring in that piece that we colored on Friday. And we are going to attach it to a piece of Granny Apple Green. This measures three and a quarter by three and a half. So what I did, I took that designer series paper and I cut this piece down to three inches by three and a quarter. But again, giving me um, that color, I'm gonna bring in that designer series paper. See how different that looks when you color that in? I'm now going to bring in my congratulations and I see I did not bring my black ink pad over here. But what I did on my card, and you'll see it when I do my picture, I took the congratulations. This is um, from a stamp set that is in the Occasion catalog. Um, and again, I forget the, mo the name of the stamp set, but I'm gonna take that congratulations and stamp over top of that in black. You could also make this a happy birthday card, but I'm adding my snail on the left side of my picture so that it will attach to the front of my card like so. Now I am going to, you could leave it as a full accordion. I'm gonna go ahead and add adhesive on my first flap so that it kind of holds it down so the card just opens like so. So there you have it. I am going to bring in another one I have already done, and I used the woman golfer. I've already stamped the congratulations like I attempted on that. I may make this a happy birthday card or a thinking of you, but here it is with the woman golfer, and I did not glue that down, so it folds all the way out. So I hope you've enjoyed today's accordion fold, and you join me on Friday for a quick, quick tip on stamping. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.